Alrighty, Minty Mouth Breeders, if you guys want to enjoy this production with uh, all the swearing and uh, none of the uh, degreasing, come on over to the Patreon. We got her on there. You'll also be contributing to the demise of my liver. I mean, you, you don't even need livers. I mean, you got two. You got main liver and auxiliary livers. There's two of them in there. Anyhow, without further John, enjoy this dirty old street sweeper. <laughs> what a treat. So it was a day like any other. I was sitting there, no pants on, balls deep on the computer, and uh, both from Buddy Dallas. He says, uh, oh, there's a team auction on today at the uh, on the internet. So I got on the old internet and tried some clicking and some fiddle around, and I well, tried to buy an excavator, and uh, well, that fell through. Don't have the money for that. And, well, then I tried to buy a dozer. Didn't have the money for that. And then, uh, lo and beer hold, there was something that was right in my price range. No, it wasn't these skid steer tires. It wasn't new rims for the rickshaw. So what do you guys think about my new welding truck? Looks pretty good. Six dope rims on it. Oh, no, wait, I didn't buy that. I bought, I bought this. That is one big pile of What year is she? 1984 Detroit powered mobile sweeping unit. So it's a mobile. It's a mobile. So we got this thing for 2,000 Canadian pesos. And now we're going to drive it how far? About, about 100 miles? Maybe about 100 miles. It should only take us 15, 16 hours. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It, so we already drove it from the auction yard to here, and the guys at the auction yard weren't having it. They weren't happy with us. They weren't, well the guy didn't know what, the, he was, that guy was like the willard of human beings. He was just stunned, he was drooling. They, they couldn't believe it. They, they didn't believe me that I was gonna drive it? You're gonna have to excuse Mr. Stone Cypher's slack-jawed gaze. I don't think so. No, I'm not gonna drive it. You're not gonna drive it. We're gonna drive it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how dangerous it is driving a hot rod piece of like this was I thought he was hitting the brakes when I was hitting the gas. He was trying to slow down and give her his both Belgian black smoke out. You guys are gonna die. <laughs> not gonna die. There's not even he a joke. Almost chopped his finger off the door. Yeah, <laughs> the, to pin the doors open and he hit the brakes and come around and jam the hand in the door. It's just gunning to make me a double amputee. <laughs> so all, all this on it is it's dumping all the diesel into the engine. So we're gonna change it out with half Lucas, half 1540. And it's got a two speed rear diff that's been disabled. But for uh, how many years? How did you have this thing around when you were a kid? No, they put the tires on like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> they're Ling Longs. Ling Long. They're Ling Longs. But yeah, they'll, yeah, we're gonna drive it home. It'll be fine. Listen to her run though. What a freak. Well, she runs, man. We gotta drop the oil out of the and uh, get it ready for the road. All right, so what we have here is it says it's a Detroit fuel pincher. I want to show the people at home as to how hard she pinches fuel by the black smoke. <laughs> Out of it. Show how she pinches the fuel. It's pinching. All right, it says what? It says read top of dipstick for engine oil, ten liters. And then it says here, no. It's not over full. But it says something else here about they're arguing with these people. So let's just drump it and put 10 liters. We'll put five liters of Lucas, five liters of engine oil and call it a day. It's terrible oil, whatever's in there. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like brake fluid. It's diesel. It is. I wonder if they were doing a diesel flush oil on it or diesel oil flush 500 on it to make it look all clean and they just never swapped it back out. They were putting it in the sale. It's got a long blow by out the dipstick too many. Anyway. Yeah, well, not after we put four liters of Lucas in there, it won't. <laughs> It'll be a rebuild. She's ready for wheelies. Where's the actual fuel tank for the Truck. It's right here with the garbage bag on. Oh, there's one on the other side, the exact same spot. Diesel fuel only? Same spot, other side. I don't want to fill both tanks. I don't have that kind of money. That's what I mean, I don't know what to do. All right, you go under there and fix that. I'm gonna stand here and finger my belly button. All right, so what the f going on with this pile of? Sh it has got four forward gears and a Georgia overdrive. I got ten forward gears and a Georgia overdrive. Being that the f rear diff has got a high and a low. Well, clearly I'm f stunned. I don't know how the pile of works but uh we're trying to get the rear diff switch from low to high and dial into the danger zone down the highway the two-speed rear diff here so you think she's just f***ing power one way power the other well, what's up with the rear diff in this thing where the f is the check oh this floor drain just smells potent it smells like bigfoot's dick <laughs> so we got a f test um, you got power yeah you're live okay that oh, something is that a good solenoid click or a bad solenoid click? It probably has something to do with making that actuator work, but is the actuator working? I don't hear no ruckus yet, but it's kind of a connection. Gordo, you got a wire brush handy? Yeah. I'm just f***ing needy, eh? What the f*** is that? Are you living at the shop now or what? Your f***ing toothbrush? Oh, I got this one. It's right up your alley. Man, everything reminds me of her. <laughs> this thing is a Honda trike, but she's got no suspension in the rear. 
But I mean, these tires are pretty fatty. They'll be fine. We got lots of rear end oil in it. Should I fucking clean these contacts up maybe? Because if all else fails, we just pull this fucking thing right off the side of the diff, click her into high gear, put her all back together. Alrighty, so we got this diff swapper 500. Took the apart. So I think this is wheelie gear right here. And that's wheelie gear. And then we do the old fucking what I don't do and pull out. It is in high gear. So now we can do 80 mile an hour, right? At least. So you explain to the people at home what we got going on here. We what, about, what about my drink? Is it good? Yeah. Tell me it was under a street sweep. It's got pulp in it. How many pulp. condoms did this thing sweeped up? I don't know. Well, none of yours because you don't use those <laughs> things. But. The smile of guilt. I don't know. It's got some sort of little rack deal on the contacts. That might be what's <laughs> us. Did it, did it make weird. any movement with power going to it? Well, we never tried that. I tried taking it out, but it won't come out. So. Yeah, just stick power to the thing. It might be broken contacts or something. What are you, an engineer? No, I'm a musky queer. No, the... It probably stops like that. That break that contact. Tells it to stop, yeah. yeah. But what tells it to go? Real yeah, but that silver line's hooked to the speedo cord sense, so it must have to be going over a certain speed for it to. What? And it just slammed into high gear? I guess so. This is gonna, this is gonna be like the garbage truck all over again. <laughs> We're gonna burn this right out of it. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Other than us figuring out that where the f your beer, where the. <laughs> The beard and i'm stunned we definitely figured out that the rear diff was just fine we tore it all apart to find out there was nothing wrong so what happened basically is there's two dingles that poke out of the thing and they're bolt power and it's ground to chassis and i was stunned and i was trying to run power to you know what i can do and i thought they were power this way <laughs> power that way i'm trying to explain but yeah i'm stunned but we got her i think is it in high gear it's in a gear is she ready for 80 mile an hour 50 at least. 50 mile an hour. It's gonna be very sketchy. <laughs> Other than that. We'd be down the Dunn Vegan at 80 probably. Yeah, but at least it doesn't have 20 inch military split rims on the front. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. Those, oh, are, man. those are like brand new. So, going down Dunn Vegan in high gear. Fun time. Coming up in high range. Yeah, but it's got first gear. Yeah, we just right, jam right. it down and dump it. I'll just well, quickly jump onto won't. the thing and just <laughs> toss it into low gear. <laughs> it only does 20 mile an hour in low range. <laughs> yeah. I think we can stand oh, high. Can we get the we gotta get the rear engine to start. We never did. We've been charging it for a while. I think it's a piece of start. Where's the starter for it? Is there, is there even oil in it? Oh, this one's way over full on oil too for sakes. Why? Because the guy that worked on this thing is stunned. Okay, Are you gonna fire it up? Ready? Yeah. Contact. Does that thing draw some power? Put that thing on hold them. Gear. Is it in gear? Because you're spinning your brush already. Yeah, it's spinning. I don't know how to use it, so. There's a lot of dingles and a lot of what have you, but there's so little oil in it, it shouldn't be spinning anything. Yeah, I don't know how to use it at all, so maybe, put, yeah. Put, put the jumper pack on all the amps and try it again. Try that. We've got to give her the reach around right to the starter, I think. We're going to hear this thing chooch. What the f*** goes up here? Oh, this is the Dingle Broom 500. Gordo, close that hood for me and open this hood. Open your clitoral hood. Yeah, open that up. This is 84 quality, eh? <laughs> All right, where the f is the starter on this piece? Of there it is. Oh, we could just jump the solenoid out. Leatherman, <laughs> wave, bud. Or where's your Leatherman wave? Wingman. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> where? Yeah, jump that noid out. Stupid safe safety's everything up. Every time I've ever played with anything, it's always them dark at the safety, or because there's a rod hanging out of it. There's Maybe. no power to the starter. There must be a big on solenoid somewhere. Make on top of the dash, left left gutter broom. Turn that down. Now try it. Oh yeah! Dude, you did it! Is it doing broom stuff? Man, what a unit! Goro, how moist are you right now? Redline has so, motor. This motor needs to be running to kick these out though. Yeah, but redline the other. figured that out it was all of them were on though that's why it wouldn't crank because it's trying to turn everything at once it was drawing a lot of amps man i have no idea what i'm doing 
know that we both know that we don't know what we're doing. Knowledge of non-knowledge is power. Yeah, well, we're going to do about 80 mile an hour with the broom drum and it'll be fine. We're going to street sweep the whole road on the way home and make we're 100 gonna grand. Crash, buddy. We're not going to crash. It's fine. Well, you're going to crash, not me. Well, one of us is going to crash. <laughs> fine crash. I already got my hand slammed in a you door. Wanna... We're just needy, eh, Gord? Oh, wow. You're paying for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bought handies. Wow. Going on a park run to go get some grub. And look at her replacement. Is that a Ford? That's a Sterling. That's not brand new. Driving on the wrong side of the road. F***ing men. Alrighty, well we stopped by the old LC. We got the now uh, shop rent paid, the shop rent paid in full. We good to go? I've been f***ing pancakes ever since. Alright, well this is f***ing mint. We got two speed rear diff in high. And now we just got to draw. Oh. 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 Yeah, pants. But we got just got to drop the oil out of the f***ing thing now. Fill her up with Lucas, 15, four. were you pooping? Yeah, we gotta drop the oil. What do you think, is this gonna get rid of the problem or you think it's just gonna... It's gonna do something. It's gonna do, it's gonna do something. The reason it's blowing oil out is because it's not oil, it's diesel, and there's too much of it in there. So we're gonna put a little left in there, put a lot of that, and then just make up for it. I've rebuilt three engines with that jug. We almost have to delete this muffler. You can't have a muffler on something that's got insurance on it. Yeah, but if it's right under the engine, we're gonna die. Yeah, but carbon monoxide poison is something to worry about later when you're getting poisoned by it. I need smaller wrenches than whatever I grabbed here. Three quarters there. Hey, apprentice! Put that impact on quiet! That'll be fine. <laughs> so the oil in it is oily. Like, it's the oil's fine. Well, what the f is going on here? All right, so the fiddle we're talking about is the fact that his engine had oil in it but the oil in it was so thin what we thought is uh they might have put a bunch of diesel in it to thin it down to try to like clean the engine out or some sh for uh putting her in the sail and then they just never changed the oil again so it was mostly diesel in there and it had all the blow by oh muffler deleter 500 oh yeah well you gotta do the honors oh, are you thinking about cutting the exhaust off oh. no i'm gonna cut the exhaust off i'm thinking about pussy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, it's fired up. No oh. no oil in <laughs> Well, why do we always got to do a muffler delete and a, a half-minute oil change? That's a good muffler for f***'s sake. What's a f***ing muffler? This thing's going to sound like a big block Chevy or a Ford, <laughs> whatever the case may be. It's going to sound like an idea. Man, those rims are the sickiest, trickiest, dope dog that ever sticked the dick dog. Someone hey. cut this f***ing bucket off right at the right profile. Like, they couldn't have guessed that any better. Look at that you got some kind of a funnel we can uh, piss Greta up with? And that's going to fix it right up. Just look at it. Just, that's the kind of oil you need. It's just non-oil. It's honey. It's good. The oil pressure is going to be all of it. Man, that muffler delete took no time. Yeah, this is going to come. It's going to get louder when we go faster. The faster we go, the louder it's going to be. Gonna we be got it. two steering wheels, though. And two brakes. And two gases. And two, and two keys. There's the Noah's Ark of f***ing giving her. Hey, uh, come hold this f***ing thing while I give this thing some hard how dare you. Buddy, I'm a professional how dare you artist. Watch me trip over this fucking extension cord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. We got the dust control figured out. Oh, there's a lot of diesel in that. Yeah. No, we'll just put this bucket underneath. Good. And whenever. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's exactly what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good idea. Hillbilly fucking You get the pump. shortest guy here, can't see <laughs> yeah, but what you lack with height, you make up with a fast d Oh, exactly. That's how it works. You <laughs> like a god d soul machine. <laughs> Must be nice. Don't make me laugh. 100, 100 mile an hour ass, big guy. It's like a two stroke. <laughs> I'm test testing out your skills there. Oh, oh that one's oh. full. All right, we're going to fill the other side up then. I didn't get any oil on me today. It's awesome. I'm more confident now. Oh, you're going to. Oh, yeah. You feel it today? If you've seen the and toilet at his house, you wouldn't be so confident. Is this why you got the last divorce? Is because you pissed everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it always makes you laugh, hey? But are you really an Albertan, though, if you don't have... Piss all over your, your toilet? No, no. <laughs> oh, that. But your last wedding financed on the credit card that you're buying your new wedding with? Because, <laughs> I mean, that's just Albertan. That's how it works. Fall in love with a stripper, get a divorce, buy a Duramax, put oh. sticky dopes on it. DD Speed Shop using some Vice Grip Garage Shine What juice. did you just say? DD Speed Shop? Who? DD Speed Shop. Did you say DD Speed Shop? DD Speed Shop? DD. Words are hard, man. DD Speed Shop. Oh, get that in there now. We got leftovers. Man, he got a blowy last night. 
<laughs> and he said it was a magical blowy. Oh, oh I thought you a, had like a hand in it or something. No, uh, or like no. ears. <laughs> well, my leg was there, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear all this old prick sound without no muffler on it. All right, you gotta fire it up and then right, right to the ketchup. Tighten that belt up a little, eh? I can smell it burning on the way here. So it's just a 9 16th and just a pry bar. What kind of ruckus is going on over here? Where the f did I put that 9 16 My mind is just a piece of shit. Gord, you handsome bearded f***ing where's the, where's the pry bar at? Hold on, guys. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> blowing you a kiss there. Is this a Leatherman f***ing wave? No. Best f***ing Leatherman out there. Now we can blow the water pump bushing right out of this thing. <laughs> there. You check the fan through the radio. Yeah, there's like 85 belts on it too. We all set. Buddy, are we ready to hit the road? We're ready, bud. Buddy, this thing's ready for the road. Yeah, we're good. Back her out there, right hand driver. Away, away. It sounds like a shitty old Chevy pickup. Oh, it'll wheelie, buddy. It will wheelie. Yeah. yeah, I got a question. What do you think about the street sweeper? What do you think? I think it's a piece of sh he has. <laughs> what a sweetheart. Of the garbage truck, the s and he's gone. All right, let's hit the road. Are you driving or am I? Are you driving? Oh, okay. Jimmy, does it matter? Make sure your seat nah, This seatbelt's got a lot of rust in her. <laughs> Make sure she's good and tight, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's your foot. My rubber foot was stuck in it. Now let's do it. Let's roll. Drive. Overdrive. No, you want me to? I'll just. I'll be. It'll be manumatic. Uh, I'll, be your, I'll, I'll be your shifter. This thing is gonna f***ing gap me out. Was that inside tire fire? Oh man, whale that
brake started working. It's not losing any oil. What the f What a f tree. All the lights work. I know, I said that. It's mid. I think we're good. Brake fade can be defined as the reduction in braking force during repeated or sustained braking applications.
15,000 pounds. I think so. Two engines, a brewster, a bunch of extra iron. Oh, it's a price is right though. You gotta gas it without going over. A face only a mother could love. Alrighty, so it weighs, we weighed it in. It weighs uh, 8,000 times 2.2. 17,600 pounds and she pulled the Dunvegan in high range. It's pretty impressive. And we're past the low to beach range. If you stab the brakes going in reverse and then cut it, it'll rock for <laughs> What a fing piece of <laughs> Now, do you want to try running the sweeper system right now? Crank it! It's cranking. It's cranking, not bad. The flag was the next time we're stalking. Hey Dallas, shut it off. Try starting a little guy. Hold up, turn it off and on a couple times. I don't feel the pump clicking. Yeah, the pump's just staying off. Like, well, it's not clicking. We gotta get it running. We gotta sweep the parking lot. Yeah, like, we just run a wire from a tail light. That one's got power. We'll just get rid of that. We don't need f***ing lights. And we got 12 volts here. There. We'll just run her off a, a tail light. Couple shorts and away we go. Yeah. We've got a kill switch. Look at this setup. Hey. There. Oh, I'm gonna... Let me just pinch the wire a little bit here. All right, give her. Give her. Ready for some speed sweeping, big guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn the back on. Put her down. Yeah. I did it. Buck sixty an hour. Get here, toss her in low gear, and give her. Man, look at how stupid this thing looks. <laughs> it's like amazing. Look at a hot pile of shit.
the old street sweeper made her home minty as all and what a sweetheart like you know she's a quality unit when everything is just made out like, you're gonna want to have half inch plate for your ad support i mean that that's how you know it's good but yeah the old street sweeper made her home minty as we uh dialed her down the highway got her going 75 mile an hour i mean that's safe you're gonna want to take these uh 20 inch power king split rim military style rims up to 75 mile an hour i mean they're rated for that no no they are not that, that means they're good but yeah the old pilot made her home safe and sound we've uh we've bagged on her here and there went for a few rips it's uh i had it on my bucket list that i've always wanted to drive a right hand can drive hot rod and i think this thing crosses it off because it's both hand drives mint but other than the practicality of having a uh double diesel fired street sweeper when you live uh a long way from any paved roads or asphalt parking lots i mean there, there's a few reasons i bought this one it's the auction and it was pretty much the only thing i could afford and it just seemed like a good idea because it's a double diesel street sweeper Comintius. but there's another big reason that i bought this old pilot of and that reason is i talked to this guy uh goes by the youtube handle kerosene stream i don't know if you fellas have heard of this guy he's just a pretty small channel i think he's only got 600 subscribers but uh i talked to him on the group chat here here and there and we we're both well the guy sends us this video of him billy big on his floor scrubber it's like this little ride on floor scrubber that he rides around his shop he's got this new fancy pants shop he's got two legs he doesn't look like he could trick or treat over the phone the guy is just you know good guy i like him minty as but he's kind of a pissed off with his bull floor scrubber the guy claims to be from the red white and blue america and he's got an electric floor scrubber made in china china that thing got to be made in china china he, he done the walk around he done a 45 minute video on it i've watched turtles that was more interesting than that video <coughs> it, it was just it was, it was shit. so he's billy big around i think he's cool in his flannel shirt vaginal dryness is when a woman's vagina comes into contact with floor scrubber which can really cause a vagina to become dry and atrophic riding around in this chinese china built floor scrubber it just it, it got to wearing on me so a few days after that this sweetheart come up in the auction and i had to buy it because i had to show this guy that real floor scrubbers are built in america so this sassy pants old rig was built in 1984 go on highway, go on and there's no doubt in my mind that garth brooks and aaron tippen probably took this thing to go get beer and maybe a little bit of columbian bam bam like this thing is a part of american history look at the pattern in that seat i'm totally wet right now so yeah doing a floor scrub in your brand new shop built on american soil with a chinese china built electric floor scrubber <laughs> is like going to an aaron tippin concert and asking for a luke bryan song what is wrong with you so much like all the videos of uh kerosene stream i watch i watch most of them he's a man the guy's talented as Every one of his videos are top notch. If you don't watch them, you gotta go over and have a gander. I mean, his flannel shirts are just beautiful. But the floor scrubber video really chapped my ass. He's turtle around the shop floor at the speed of fart. It is bullshit. I don't, know, I don't know what the he was doing. It didn't even try to do a burnout in it. You can't own something and not try to do a burnout in it. This thing weighs 17,500 pounds. And you know what we're about to do in it? It's gonna be America. So Matt, sit down, grab a pen, grab some paper, and take notes, buddy. Cause this is how floor scrubbing's done. All right, to do this burnout, we definitely don't have to have both diesel engines running, but I mean, In Matt's video, he did have a problem with the electrical, and we got to admit, this thing got the same issues. It does have electrical problem, but all you got to do is stick this guy onto here, turn the headlights on, and then fire up the rear engine, and then put her in the catch up. And now, time for the burnout action.
burnout. But there's only one thing better than a pretty good burnout. That's two burnouts. <laughs> long you're supposed to switch over to the auxiliary long for burnout oh yeah in mid killed the out of the burnout now we got to see how she uh, actually does some sweeping because i mean it killed burnouts if it does half as good as sweeping as it does burnouts give me men all righty so in the video kerosene stream was going off about how he bought the more rugged unit that could handle you know a little bit of gravel on the floor or some bolts or some this or some that well I mean, I like to give her here, and my shop floor is usually a goddamn disaster. So I went with the most rugged floor buffer we could buy. So now we gotta find out the capabilities of this greasy old floor buffer. How much will the old mobile sweep up? We're gonna find out. So the way Kerosene Stream had her set up in the video is he was going for practicality. I mean, you got some pretty rugged nuts and bolts and uh, rocks on the floor. Like, you never know. I mean, that street sweeper hit, it'll, it'll handle all this like this. No balls. But then you got the practicality of a feller like this. I mean, sometimes you leave the shop and there's unicorn masks and pressure washer wands and extension cords and beer cans everywhere. I mean, you got to have a machine that can handle that. I mean, you got to have it matching with the Bud Light cans.
good job. I mean, uh, they might f up your pressure washer nozzle, your Doc Johnson, and you might want to run a broom over the floor a couple times. Oh no, it did a real practical job of sweeping not only the floor, but the driveway. It's kind of hard on the pressure washer, so she got a little bit bunged up. I mean, it was from the dump. Alrighty, so now we'll see what kind of sh got in the dump box. There was about a half yard of gravel in here and it got rid of most of it. I mean, the rest of it, it definitely spread it all the f***ing fiddle f town, but look what it did to the dip ties and bias plies thing. It, it cleaned that up nice. It buffed the floor right down to minty. I mean, you got f all to worry about with that thing. You, you, maybe just a light scuffing with the broom is all it would need. I mean, it picked up all my extension cords, my pressure washer hose, everything. It just made it mint. The old pile of sh does have a water tank on it and I guess you're supposed to have water running when you're doing street sweeping but uh, I couldn't figure that out well I, I just didn't put any water in so f that but I mean Matt's does do a, a little bit more of a cleaner job but mine mine did it a lot faster so you, you got to hurry up and get done around here all right well that was a good time and I uh I hope all you mouth creators and boys at home don't think I was serious about old Diva Creek I love that guy he's a minty Feller. I just figured I'd give him a hard time with the old greasy old street sweeper and uh, his f***ing shitty old plastic floor buffer. I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. I mean, I mean 17,500 pound pile of iron compared to his Lego set floor buffer. I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. I mean, this thing's compact as f I just spent the last like hour and a half blowing greasy old black snot out of my nose. This, <laughs> I mean, how much dust and smoke can you breathe in a day? I don't know, but I think I found the f*** out. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this derelict production of uh, me getting this pile of sh home i mean what a stupid thing to buy it's like uh, out of all the junk at the auction i guess this is the only thing on the uh on the affordability list but i mean what in the sweet fiddlers f it just looks majestic with the sunlight in the background there but what in the sweet fiddlers f did the guy do with a 1984 mobile street sweeper after he's done a burnout sweep the shop and, f and gone 75 miles an hour in it i don't I don't think there's a whole lot you can do with it. But if you hair lips and halfwits have any ideas for it, uh, let me know down in the talker because I don't know what to do with this thing. Not a clue. I mean, I guess I could drink beer and drive around in it and go to the dump. Okay. Speaking of which, that reminds me of something. I got to do some, uh, I got some apologizing to do big time. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. But, uh, you got my word. It'll never happen again. No, I know I f***ed up. You're right. I, I f***ed up and all I can do is say I'm sorry and please take me back. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Those are, those were definitely, those are definitely videos of me wearing a dress and walking around with a rubber fist on the internet. I, I don't know what come over me. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm f***ing sorry. Just please, please let me know what I can do to make this right. I just... I can't handle living without you anymore. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a broken man without you. I mean, my, my heart's just broken. It's just, just, without you, it just feels like there's a big part of me missing in my life. It's, I'm a broken man. Please take me back. Come on, sweetheart, please. I'll make it up to you. Take it to Princess Auto. They got these minty new lawn chairs on sale with beer holders in them. I know how you love those. I promise. Never again. I promise. This just feels right. <sighs> oh, Willard, I don't know how long they've been under the toolbox for, but man, they're, they're a solid seven to eight percent now. They're a bit, what do you want to get all Bud Lighty with me? Here, have some PC Light. That'll, that'll cure what ails you. You won't want the dink anymore. Well, you want the peanut butter? Well, looks like I'm going to have to get used to things coming out of my ass going 700 miles an hour again. It's a lot better than things going into my ass 500 miles an hour. Bingo.
But yeah, I'd like to thank all you minty pricks for watching this derelict garbage once again. I usually give out uh, shout outs from my Patreon and all the new Patreon and all the minty But I got a, uh, a video that I'm off in the morning to go do, so uh, I'm up to my alligators. You guys are going to have to wait till next time. But I appreciate every one of you minty pricks for keeping my freedom of speech free. Isn't that right, Withered? Withered. Did you go for a swim in the pond? Did you go for it? Are you done? Well, and I'd also like to thank all you mint pricks for buying a shirt or a, a sticker or whatever the else I got on the old website. That's over at uh, ziptiedandbiasplied.com. We got, yeah, like I said, I got a bunch of mint shit there. I appreciate all you mint pricks for buying stuff. So once again, I'd just like to thank all you mint pricks for watching this derelict production. Thank all you mint Patreon for sticking around. Thanks for all you new guys. And if you guys wouldn't mind sharing the shit out of this, I'd appreciate the living out of it because uh old frost back stand they're uh they're sticking me all the way at the back of the closet but yeah thanks again for watching guys and uh until next time keep sh your f ass Littered, why are you so sad looking you go for a truck ride